you know i debated on how i would open up this episode but like when the game ended like i wasn't screaming i wasn't you know throwing stuff across the room putting holes in the wall i wasn't doing that i let that out during the well after the seahawks game that's when i left all of that out my roommate you know he can attest to that um i'm just i'm just disappointed i'm just disappointed and i feel like that parent that has that super bad kid and like the kid did one thing that he or she believed oh when i see my dad he's gonna whoop my ass but then they get home and you know pops ain't even mad he's just disappointed that's what i am right now with the eagles I've told myself I'm not going to throw a tantrum. I'm not going to yell on the microphone. I'm just disappointed. Because, unfortunately, what I said after that Seahawks game came true. The Eagles are not a Super Bowl contender. And... Let me start this off as well. My first point, I would like to apologize to Sean Desai. Because he was named the scapegoat for why the defense wasn't playing well. He was the scapegoat. It was because of him. So what does Nick Sirianni do? He demotes Sean Desai and puts in Matt Patricia as the defensive coordinator. Okay. I'm going I'm to get to Matt Patricia, you know, very, very soon. So you have under Matt Patricia as the coordinator, we give up a game-winning drive to Drew Locke. Tyrod Taylor is a play away from tying the game. Matter of fact, Tyrod Taylor outscores us in the second half. Oh, um, and then we lost to and got torched over 400 total yards to the Three and twelve now four and twelve Arizona Cardinals. Matt Patricia is a loser. He is a failure. He is a Bill Belichick merchant. And the fact that we were fooled to believe that Matt Patricia would solve the Eagles' issues defensively, we were smoking some really good stuff. Because how the heck do we actually believe that Matt Patricia would save the day? This is the same guy that holds a pencil with no notebook. Who does that? Who does that? That's like coming to class with a pencil. No book bag, no notebook, nothing. You out? How can we trust a guy who holds a pencil with no notebook? You're not writing anything. You're a Bill Belichick merchant. You you were a failure when you left New England. You tried to come back and be an offensive coordinator. You sucked. You were terrible. You are a reason why Mac Jones regressed very, very badly and then you found your way to philly as a senior defensive assistant all to just become the dc mid-season and the defense looks worse with you in the freaking game he 
He is a loser. He is a fraud. Matt Patricia is a fraud, bro. And we should be ashamed of ourselves for believing that he would turn this around. Nobody can. And especially not him. I know I said that I wasn't going to get upset. But when I hear the name Matt Patricia, I get mad. I get mad. I get mad. Brian Johnson. I be trying. Like, Brian Johnson, I give you praise when you do good. But your errors are so big to overcome. I can't defend you anymore. Just like James Bradbury, Brian Johnson, I can't defend you. And guess what? It's not just Brian Johnson's fault. It's Nick Sirianni's fault for this super inconsistent offensive play calling. So you're telling me that you have a QB draw. Oh, and then another QB draw. Okay. And now you're in a third and 20. And what happens? Even though De Devontae Smith, he's injured, you still have Dallas Goddard. You still have A.J. Brown. Your big play, third and 20, is to Kenneth Gainwell screen. You had a screen, bro. Brian Johnson. You called back-to-back -back QB draws and then a screen pass to not A.J. Brown, to not Dallas Goddard. How? Not even Julio Jones. You have a screen pass to Kenneth Gainwell. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Like, what is going on? What is going on? How can you be good at your job sometimes and literally so bad? Howie Roseman, if you're watching this, please fire him. Please, 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 bro. Please, please, bro. That's all Philly wants. My New Year's resolution is for Brian Johnson to be fired. And I don't like talking about a black man's job because I'm a black man and I want to see black men concede, uh, su succeed. But he's trash at his job. Nick Sirianni is trash at his job. And you saw, you saw how this offense, bro, the reason why A.J. Brown was upset, you saw right there after that screen pass to Kenneth Gainwell on a third and 20, you don't use A.J. Brown. And the thing is, we can joke about how all Dak does is throw to C.D. Lamb but the Cowboys are doing it right. They give the ball to their playmaker. They give the ball to their best player and let him cook. A.J. Brown, four catches, less than 60 yards. You're not even giving the ball to your best player. It makes no sense. This defense, too, is trash. I know I talked about Matt Patricia and he's a loser, but this defense, no matter who is coaching it, isn't good. Isn't good. And I'm looking at this box score, right? And like I still can't believe my eyes. You're, you're, you're telling me that the Cardinals ran for over 220 yards and the Eagles couldn't break 100. That is like insanity. That's insanity. James Conner had himself a day. Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, what are y'all doing? What's going on? What is actually going on with this defensive line? Because they can't get home to the quarterback. They can't stop the run. And we know that the secondary isn't good. But if the defensive line isn't being productive and you saw in all of their faces too if the defensive line isn't being productive we're gonna get 30 balled 
every single game. And the defense is so bad that the offense can't have one mistake. They literally can't have one mistake. If they have a mistake, the game is over. If they have a quarter where they don't score any points, we're going to be losing the game. Like there's just, there's 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 no room for error with this trash trash defense, right? It's just no room for error, bro. And it's just very very upsetting. And I'll even just start from like the beginning to the end like real quick. You have a three and out. What happened? A stupid screen to Kenneth Gainwell. There was like so many screens to Kenneth Gainwell. Who y'all think he is? No respect to the guy, but that's not his game. What are you doing? Cardinals first drive. James Conner is cooking. James Conner is cooking. Williams had a great sack that prevented a touchdown. They ended up selling for a field goal. The Eagles second drive. Great. A.J. Brown, 16 yards. Dallas Goddard, big explosive play. Julio Jones. Red zone touchdown. That's how you use the guy. Let's go, Julio. Keep them receipts. That's what I was saying. I was like, I see you, Julio. Then, shout out Sidney Brown. Pick six. That was a terrible pass by Kyler Murray. And Sidney Brown made a hell of a play with Reed Blankenship being out of the game at that certain time. Right? Go back to the Cardinals, right? Their third drive, they still march down the field, but they settle for a field goal. So, but this should have been like the telltale. Like, we should have known, all right, if the Cardinals are getting up and down the field, even though they're settling for field goals early on in the game, it should be concerning that they're going up and down the field with such ease. You feel me? Second half rolls around. And... You know, it's 21-6. Cardinals fourth drive. What happens? They march right down the field. On that touchdown, what happened? Shaq Leonard missed a tackle. We had a lot of those, a lot of missed tackles today. It was just, it was bad. You have the Eagles third drive of the game. What happens? Literally, Hurts puts a ball right in Devontae's hands. And he drops it. That's a big play. That's a big play. He drops it. Now we now we now we punt. And then guess what? We can't get home to the quarterback. We can't. Josh Sweat not getting to Kyler Murray on that play leads to a great, great play by James. James Conner was amazing today. What that one hand catch that it was amazing. And then on the two-point conversion, the Cardinals, they just target Avante Maddox. Um, And, you know, he's a guy who's coming off over three months, you know, not being in the lineup. So they're going to pick at him and and end up working off. Great play by them. The Eagles' fourth drive. They went back to the basics, though, right? After that, after the Cardinals, right, touchdown, we come back. And Swift's running the ball, Hurts running the ball, Gainwell's cooking. Then we get a, a an easy pass to Dallas Goddard, who was wide open in the end zone. He had a tough toe drag, right? Then the Cardinals again. Kelly Ringo. No, Keely, Keely Ringo. You can't do that, bro. You got two bad plays. I'll give you grace on the first one because I don't believe that was – a player, I don't think that was a P.I. For Killy Ringo, that first one wasn't a P.I. in my opinion. However, once we get to the red zone and you got juked some crazy, was flat-footed, and give up a touchdown, we can't have that. That's not championship football. It's just simply not championship football, bro. It's not. It's not. So now what it is, it's 28-28. All right, cool. 28, 28, and then this is when you have Jonathan Gannon's trying to channel his his uh what's his name Dan Campbell. He's trying to channel that. So what happens? 
he does an onside kick. We have great field position. We get down to the red zone. What happens? Jordan Maylada holding penalty. Not a good play. Boneheaded play. We can't have that happen. And then, like I said before, what happened? Back-to-back QB draws. <laughs> At first and 20, second and 20. And then what happens? A screen pass to Kenneth Gainwell on third and 20. You Then you have to settle for a field goal. You You literally saw A.J. Brown shaking his head. All right, cool. Then after that, what happens? It's two minutes left in the game, two minutes, 30 left in the game. Nobody had any confidence that this defense could get a stop. Nobody thought that. And then what happens? The Cardinals run the ball down our throats. Easy touchdown. Like, I just want you to, I'm going to read, before I get off, I'm going to just read, like, the Cardinals, you know, just like what they've done in this game. First drive, field goal. Second drive, interception, a pick six. Third drive, field goal. Now, this is the, this is the, the second half. <laughs> touchdown, 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 touchdown. They literally scored every single time they got the ball. They scored 29 points in the second half. We got outscored 29 to 10 in the second half. This is shameful. This is actually shameful. And it's no word. It's nothing to justify it. It's not rigged. The Eagles just aren't a good football team. And when somebody tells you who they are, you better believe it instead of trying to cope and act like they're somebody they simply are not. The Eagles are not being the Rams. They're not being the, the Seahawks. The only team that I'll say they can beat is the Cowboys because I'm not letting myself say out my mouth that the Cowboys would beat the Eagles in the playoffs. I simply, I can't do that. But any other team would beat us right now. And this coaching staff, I really hope that there are changes made. They probably won't fire Nick Sirianni. But if he gets a great offensive coordinator just, just to carry him, I would love that. I would love that. It's Real Talk of Miles Johnson where you know I always keep it real. I love y'all. No words. This Eagles team disappoints again.